My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got an extra, extra nice car for you today. It's a 1962 Chevy Bel Air bubble top with a 409, 409 horsepower, four speed, nut and bolt rotisserie restored. This thing's incredible. If you visit volocars.com, that's where you can see all the pictures, uh, all the specs, the price of this car, and a few hundred other collector cars that are all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy our videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel Click on the bell icon, that way you'll be notified every time a video pops up. But for right now, I'm excited to take you for a spin in a 62 Bel Air 409. Yeah, this one is a sweetheart. I'm looking down the sides of it. It's a mirror. You can read a dictionary in the reflection of this car. It's one of those, if you watch my videos, I just love it when the door clicks shut like that. That's, that's amazing. The gaps are spot on, they're square, flush, all of the gaps. The paint is like glass. I mean, it's, it's not a ripple, not a wave, it's straight. They call it the bubble top when it's got this big bubble window. Most of these had more of a formal roof line. I was comparing uh, you know, to what other bubble tops might be priced at. I was online. You can't find bubble tops. They're very rare compared to the other uh, you know, the formal roof line. And this is a Bel Air, makes it kind of neat. This is kind of a stripped down muscle car, all thrills with no frills. The trim, actually all the glass, the glass is all new all the way around. When I rolled up the windows, the chrome frames are new, the gaskets are new. All of these moldings are professionally straightened and polished, you got all new Fuzzy seals, new weather strips, bow tie mirror, all of this chrome's redone, all the glass is new, wiper arms, look how that fits, emblems are new, all of this, look at the grill, it's all polished, everything's new, has the T3 headlights, that's what they would have had originally uh, back then, and again, the gaps, the moldings. It has 15 inch torque thrust wheels. That's a vintage, these are new, but that's a vintage style wheel with new BF Goodrich tires on the car. Underneath the car, it's body off the frame restored. The bottom has the red oxide primer on it. It has spiral shocks. The front end's completely rebuilt. Uh, everything, the fuel tank, fuel lines, brakes, uh, you name it, it's new under there. It has a 1962 Borg Warner transmission, so it has the correct four speed for one of these cars. It has a 62 uh, rear end in the car as well. The engine block, which we'll get to in a minute, that's a 63 block that's in here. The paint under here is as slick as the outside, new weather strip, very neatly spatter painted, all solid metal, new mat. It looks like the wiring harness is new. Everywhere I see wiring, it looks new. The latch is new. These are the factory colors. The trim tag is code 900, which is tuxedo black. And then the interior code, which I don't remember, but I looked it up, it is a red interior. So stunning colors. Immaculate, just like the outside. Every, every bezel and everything, the knobs, the door panels, the armrest bases, uh, it has a white headliner in the visors, uh, and they fit tight as a drum. They're bright white. Even up under the dash is all beautiful. It's a radio delete. Like I said, no frills. Look at that. The big horsepower car had that big dual snorkel air cleaner. It's got the GM aluminum intake with the right glass fuel filter bowl. Uh, it's got two newer Edelbrock carbs and everything in here. Meticulously restored, detailed, the suspension, the, everything on the firewall, the wiring, the wiper motor, the, the squirters are hooked up. Look at how the hinges are detailed out. It's a beautiful motor compartment. 
GM hoses and clamps, spring clamp battery cables. They did upgrade it to an aluminum radiator. It's painted black so it blends in. But look at this, it's straight, it's not kicked or warped or everything fits right. I like a car where everything fits like it's supposed to. You don't have loose parts, loose panels. Dash is painted beautifully. It's got the red and black speckled carpet with matching mats. And you'll see undercarriage pictures on our website. The exhaust is bent. It follows the frame, the X frame. And they did such a nice job bending the exhaust. Really a, a show, show quality car in and out top to bottom. This is a proper uh, sun tachometer. That's what would have come on these old hot rods. And it has the transmitter on the inner fender for the tachometer. This is a cold start. This car has been in here overnight. See what it does. Inside the glove box, the liner's new, the light comes on, and there's an owner's manual sitting there. Give it a couple shots of gas. That's not even warmed up. It's sitting and idling, purring like a kitty. Yeah, all the wiring, the steering box, the manifolds, all immaculate in here. Bottom of the hood's beautiful. Let's sound nice that runs. And watch this again. I love this. Nice. Yeah, that that's sweet. A black and red. Bubble top, restored to this condition. Whatever we're asking, it's not enough. Go to volocars.com. I suggest you go there quick before someone beats you to it. Plenty of ways to contact our staff. We'll answer questions, concerns about the car, financing, delivery. We can help with all of that. So whatever you need to know, let us know. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see these videos as they come out. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.